They say you can't fight City Hall, but if you don't fight the government, you're, you're done. Because they're not right. What they're doing to us is not right. I'm a rancher in north central Nevada. We're bred and born Nevada ranchers. Eddie Ann and Dan Filippini don't own all the land on their three and a half thousand acre ranch. Some of it they lease from a division of the federal government known as the Bureau of Land Management, or the BLM. The agency controls a total of 155 million acres in the U.S. that is set aside for livestock raising. Private ranchers like the Filipinis get to use this land to feed their cattle, but they also pay for this right. When a ranch is purchased, part of the purchase price is based on ability to graze on your, on your BLM grazing rights. Pete and Lynn Tomera are neighbors of the Filipinis. They also lease land from the Bureau of Land Management. The BLM permit is its property. It's a, it's a property right. When it is closed off, when part of your grazing permit is taken away from you, it decreases the value of your rent. In 2014, the Bureau of Land Management made a decision to prohibit grazing on some of the land used by the Tomeras and the Filipinis. Why? because the agency was concerned about a drought. So we had to remove all of our cattle from those two allotments and find alternative pasture for them. We sold about 400, between four and 500 head of cattle because we couldn't, couldn't keep them. It's devastating. To have the cattle up on the hill, it's the difference between surviving and not surviving because right here on the flat, you can't feed cattle all summer long, you just don't have enough hay, you can't afford to do it. Raul Morales is the Deputy State Director of the Bureau of Land Management. He said the agency had no choice but to revoke the grazing rights on its land. Nevada has actually been in drought eight of the last 10 years. And the last four years, we've had four years of consistent drought, and this year being the worst droughts. But the Tamaras and the Filipinis say that the grazing lands they are using are actually in good shape. They've been inviting outside observers in to see them for themselves. One visitor snapped a picture of land so healthy, the grass had risen 21 inches high. Raul Morales says the reason the land is returning to health is because of the temporary ban on grazing. We manage those lands for their health. And recognizing during drought situations, we have to be responsible for the management and work with our partners in achieving that success. The Tamaras say it's the ranchers who possess the expertise and incentive to best care for the land during a drought. We realize that if we overuse or abuse the land this year, next year there's going to be any forage out there for our cattle. So we, we know how to take care of it, and we do. We've done it all our life. I mean, you just don't come into a ranch and say, well, I'm going to run it. They are taking your property, your private bought and paid for property. The Tamaras and the Filipinis have filed a lawsuit to return their cattle to the land, and they're in talks with the Bureau of Land Management to work out a deal. But this process is dragging on with no clear timetable. Meanwhile, their businesses are suffering. Well, if we can win, it'll be okay. If we can't win, I don't know what we're gonna do. If, if we get unfavorable decisions, then the future doesn't look very bright, so I don't know. We won't be in business, we'll have to sell our cows. I mean, you can pay a lawyer $300 an hour, $250 an hour, and, and you're, you've taken it to the, um, to the BLM land board, which is, it's BLM employees, BLM lawyers, BLM judges. So you're, you're fighting with your dollar, and then you're paying for them to, to run you out of business. <laughs>